we get a dot product that's going to be equal to zero. All right, let's look at this. Our final example is example four, where we're looking at orthogonal vectors. Given vector u, I want you to find the vector that is orthogonal to the given vector. Just so you know, there are multiple possible answers here. If you want to, try this one on your own first. I know I'm not giving you much direction. If you're confused, resume the video, look through the answer for A, and then you can try part B on your own. All right, for this first one, I think it's going to help to actually sketch out vector u. So vector u is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then down 2. There we go. So we see that this vector has a slope of negative 2 sevenths. Now think back to when we talked about linear equations. We know that whenever two lines are perpendicular to one another, they have the opposite reciprocal of slopes. So if the slope of our original vector is negative 2 sevenths, then the slope of our new vector needs to be 7 halves, which means our new vector should go up 7 and over 2. And this will create a right angle. So this new vector could be positive 2, 7. Or we could go the opposite direction and get a vector that is negative 2, negative 7. Or we could double the vector and get a vector that is 4, 14. So 2, 7 is one possible vector. Negative 2, negative 7 is one possible vector. 4, 14 is a possible vector. So is, of course, negative 4, negative 14. Uh, we could triple these numbers and get it to be 6 and 21. Or make them negative, negative 6, negative 21. Here's the basic procedure of what you need to do. Whatever your original vector is, first of all, you need to flip the two components to come up with the orthogonal vector. So the 2 and 7 need to switch spots. Then you need to change the sign on one of them. Flipping them is what gives you a reciprocal, and changing the sign is what makes it the opposite reciprocal. I don't care if you change it so that they're both positive or both negative, but you need to change the sign on one of the numbers. All right, let's look at part B now. If you want to, you can pause the video and try this one on your own, or you can just stick around and watch what I do. Right, we're given u equals 5, 4. This means one possible orthogonal vector would be v, which is negative 4, 5. Or we could get 4, negative 5. Or we could do negative 8, 10. 8, negative 10. We could divide it in half. We could do negative 2, 2.5. Or 2, negative 2.5 point of this is, if I was to draw out the vector u, which is at 5, 4, and then draw a vector v, which I set at negative 4, 5, these two have an opposite reciprocal slope, which gives me a right angle. Or I can double the length of v. That just extends this vector. Or I could send v in a negative direction. It's still going to be a right angle. So all of these are possible solutions for an orthogonal vector to u. There are actually infinitely many solutions that you can do. And that concludes your notes for 8.6, and actually it concludes the notes for chapter 8. So if you have any questions on this chapter, anything still confusing you, go back, review the videos, or come ask me, send me an email. I'd be happy to answer any remaining questions.